there's something wrong with this room. Do you know what it is? How about now? Something that you can observe in Vanilla Half-Life is certain light patterns have a weird coloration to them. In this particular case in Questionable Ethics, you can notice that the skylight has a very blue tinge to it that falls off to a red. Oop. It's not really something you would notice if you've played the Steam version of Half-Life your whole life. We just are having some very unfortunate visitors tonight. Either way, this probably looks 100% normal to you, and I wouldn't blame you for thinking so. But what I just enabled earlier is something called GL Overbright. Let's re-enable it real quick. It's not too easy to do this because, as you can see, if you just enable it straight up, then it looks, you know, like things are just literally brighter. Actually, you can see the effect that I was talking about is pronounced a lot more here because of the increased brightness. Let's uh, save and reload the map real quick. And now you can see the, uh, the light map says they're actually intended to show. And you might think, well, that's silly. Why would the Steam version not have the intended light maps? And why do I need to enable this weird command to see them how they're supposedly intended? Well, originally Half-Life utilized this overbright mode as a means to create a sort of primitive bloom effect. Let me go over here to see if I can illustrate it better. Here's with overbright on, and here's with it off. You can see that the light is kind of greenish, and then it fades off to uh, blue. And then if we enable overbright, you can see that it's a more natural blue. It's also a little more glowy. But there is perhaps no better example of the benefits of overbright mode than using the flashlight. So let's turn off overbright mode here. Back to the weird blue. So if I turn on my flashlight, you can see that despite the fact that this is clearly not very bright at all, the flashlight isn't having any noticeable effect on this area. And that's because it's clamping this brightness value. So let's switch to overbright and see how it looks there. So now we can see that the flashlight now adds this appropriately overly bright uh, bluish tinge. I actually think that the base color of this form might be blue anyway. So what we're seeing here might be the result of some slightly warm light spilling in. I can't be too sure though. If somebody actually knows this map better than I do, then feel free to let me know about that. Residue processing in particular actually has a lot of places to test overbright in. Let's flick it on real quick. Boom. So that actually looks yellow now. It looked more like a sickly green originally. I don't know why. Well, actually, I, I do know why. It's because overbright wasn't enabled. That is just nasty. This. This right here is nice. This happens in other areas too, like right next to this, you can see in this room, it's got that kind of problem going on where you have a warm color in the center and then the edges are like this weird sickly green. There we go. It's all a very consistent warm yellow. It's perfect. This whole room, green, not anymore. There we go. Here's this room. I'm sure a lot of people familiar with the original game, like before it was on Steam, can probably already see a problem here, or if you were paying attention. But if you don't, you sure will if I get up close here and just turn on Overbright. Look at that. The lights actually look, you know, proper now. The game doesn't look like a million times more dated. You ever run into this room and think of how weird it is that these obviously blue screens are casting a strange green light? Boom. Or over here, you can see the exact same sickly green clipping going on. Boom. This here is an extra terrible case. Just look at this. There we go. These? Fixed. Even the soda machines are fucked up. Look at this! What's going on? Shut up. And there we go. It's just that simple. Generally, once you've played with Overbright on, you start to see how ugly this game's default lighting looks in the Steam version in particular. There's so many places like this with really nice atmosphere that just get completely butchered by this lighting problem. Luckily, Overbright is here to save the day. As I'm being shot by this turret, you can notice yet another problematic lighting area. As you can see, Overbright has not only fixed this area, but it has also killed the turret. Just kidding. Um, that was me.
Look at this, you can't even tell that there's supposed to be a light beneath the laser. Well, there is, and you can see it with Overbright. So how do you actually get this working? Well, first, according to PC Gaming Wiki, this does not actually work out of the box, so you'll want to download an app called NVIDIA Profile Inspector, or if you have an AMD card, I think there's a uh, similar equivalent. And you want to go to the Half-Life Profile, but you can also add numerous other executables too, such as like Sven Co-op or Half-Life Restored, just other Half-Life mods that use their own executable, you can add them here. Uh, you want to scroll down to 5 Common, and go to Extension Limit, and turn it on. And then from there, you want to dig into your Half-Life folder, go into the Valve folder, and then add gl underscore overbright1 to the autoexec.config. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show off. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. I don't make videos like this very often, but I might.